Hello everyone, this is Hurley. In this tutorial I'll be going through how to convert a 3D graphics asset in Unity to the Universal Render Pipeline. If this is of use to you, please click on the like button. Also, if you'd like me to do more tutorials in the future, please let me know in the comments and perhaps even subscribe to my channel. Feedback like this really does help me understand where I should focus my efforts. So thanks for that and let's get to it. Okay, if you want to use a graphics asset that normally uses the built-in render pipeline, but you want to use that asset in the universal render pipeline, how do you go about converting it? In this example, I'll be using my Subway and L-Train asset. First, start a new project. Let's choose 2019.4. So straight out of the gate, we'll create this in the universal render pipeline. Name the project as you like, then click Create. In the URP project, let's import the Subway from the asset store. Okay, let's switch to the scene, but before we do anything else, I'll just show you inside the settings folder. Here are all your URP pipelines. We can choose any one of these. I think we'll stick with the default, which is the high quality pipeline. Now let's just do a bit of tidying up, as there are a lot of extraneous folders we don't need. We can delete everything in assets except for the settings and subway folders. Now let's go to the subway demo scene. We don't need to save just yet. So everything now is a startling shade of pink. Don't panic. Click on Edit in the top menu bar. Select Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, Upgrade Project Materials to Universal RP Materials, Proceed, Yes, and we're all done. Okay, let's have a look at converting from a different Render Pipeline to the Universal Render Pipeline. Okay, so once again, we'll start a new project. Let's go with 2019.4 again. We'll create this in the built-in Render Pipeline. Let's give it a suitable name then click create. Once again let's import the subway asset from the store. This time let's go into the prefab scene. So here's the scene in the built-in render pipeline. Let's zoom out a little and spin that around. We don't need that default scene folder so let's delete that. Okay if we're going to use the URP we'll first have to install it from the package manager. Let's go to window Package Manager. Now let's just allow the registry to populate. Scroll down. Here we are. Universal Render Pipeline. Let's install that. Close the Package Manager. Let's look in our Project Packages. And we can see that Universal RP has installed. So let's convert over to it. In our Project tab, click Create. Rendering. Universal Render Pipeline. Pipeline Asset. Now we've created the pipeline asset, we can rename it as we please. I'm just going to stick with the default name for now. Then go to Edit, Project Settings. Inside Graphics, click on the Scriptable Render Pipeline Settings radio button and select the pipeline asset we've just created. Close Project Settings. And we can once again see that our graphics have taken on that alarming shade of pink. Fear not. Go to Edit, Render Pipeline. Universal Render Pipeline, Upgrade Project Materials to Universal Render Pipeline Materials, Proceed, and again, we're done. As an addendum, you can click on the Pipeline Asset to make changes to the URP shadows, lighting, post-processing, etc. If you want to explore what each of these does, head over to the Unity Manual to find out. I've put a link to the manual page in the description, as well as links to the Subway Asset I've used. Also, there's a link to my Discord channel if you need to contact me for further help. I hope this has been of some use to you. If it has, perhaps I'll make some more tutorials. Again, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe. Bye for now.